welcome. In this video, I tell a bit more about the microstream integration we have for Spring Boot. I'll show you some concepts about the integration and a small example. If we look at how we are using microstream in a application, then the storage manager is the central concept, of course. When we start the storage manager, it reads the binary data from a storage location and out of that information it recreates the object graph that we have. So we have our root object with the references to all the other objects that make our database for microstream. Those are just plain pojos, so we can use them however we like in our application. And when we make a change to one of those objects, you can call the store method of the storage manager to store the binary representation of that object again to the storage so that next time you have that changed data available again. The storage manager of course needs some configuration. Uh, the most obvious one is that it needs to know where the binary data are located and where the storage is. That can be a disk, that can be a cloud storage or that can be um, even a database, uh, a blob store within the database. So that configuration is important for the storage manager and we use that storage manager to start and store our data. So based on this concept, we made a few integration points with the Spring Boot framework. So, so it becomes even easier when you are using MicroStream in combination with Sp Spring Boot. So for the configuration, we look up the configuration key values from any supported source of Spring Boot itself. So that can be just a file, but that can any kind of other storage mechanism that it is supported by Spring Boot. We define our root object so that we can inject our root object as a Spring vein that we have in our application. And of course, uh, we need to perform the store method, as I mentioned, so we also provide the storage manager as a Spring Beam. So how does that look in Codem? So I have here a demo application. I will point you to the repository where you can find it later on. And it is a regular Spring Boot application, but uh, I'm already using that Spring Boot 3 version, uh, the new version which is running on JDK 17. We only need to add the integration for Spring Boot of MicroStream here with a single dependency. I'm using here then of course uh, the Spring Boot 3 integration. If you're using Spring Boot 2, yeah, then that's also possible of course. Then you just remove that number three there and you have the correct integration for Spring Boot 2. That single dependency brings in all the required other dependencies and that means that we can define our configuration for our storage manager um, within that application property file here of Spring Boot. But as mentioned, any source that provides you key value pairs like uh, the spring configuration um, is doing that, uh, that is also usable. We need to prepend our keys that we are used to be, uh, when we are used to working with microstream, we have to prepend them with the one dot microstream here so that we are sure that we do not clash with any other library or even maybe Spring Boot itself uh, regarding the keys that we are using. So here we define the, uh, the simple example that we will store the binary files in a directory called uh, the path to the storage and I'm also defining here the ch channel count to 2 although that's not really necessary for this simple example but then you will see that it's also picked up. The next thing is that we define our root object. So with a simple POGEO class, we can annotate uh, it with at storage. That's a 
annotation that we have included in that integration code and that at storage class make sure that our integration finds this class and that it will create a spring bean out of this instance that it either creates new when there is no data yet no storage or that it will be linked to the actual root of your stored data on disk in our case it becomes a spring bean so that means that we can also use the auto wire to inject for instance the storage manager so that we can store changes for example when we add a user here or we add um, a, a book we can then make sure that data are stored within this storage uh, class um, although it is a spring bean we only support field injection and no constructor injection the storage manager here by default uh, is the one from the microstream code itself and we are creating that here in a configuration uh, annotated class refactory which with uh, a method with add uh, bean which then um, creates that storage manager it's the primary one because you can have multiple one and that's one of the new additions which is coming up in version 8 of the microstream release that you can have for instance multiple the databases within one application uh, for instance you can have a red database but you can also have a green database uh, which uh, stores other data and you can simply use uh, this kind of prefix here um, to distinguish between the two and with qualifiers you can inject then the storage manager that you need for your case there is an example for that also in the repository um, I will show you the link in a moment so now that we have our root object as a spring bean we have our storage manager also as a spring bean then we can for instance use those in any kind of code that we need in our application and for instance this one this repository class which is a spring bean requires the root for returning all the books or a filtered uh, list of books uh, based on ESBN number for example which means that we can just use the regular constructor injection of spring boot and we have that root object available here these keys value pairs are nice to configure the most important aspects but some aspects are not easy or not at all even configurable through this key value pair solution and for that option we have uh, created the an opportunity so that you can customize your embedded storage foundation it's a embedded storage foundation customizer an interface and any spring bean class which implements that one gets uh, executed at least the customized method gets executed just uh, before the storage manager itself is created so the foundation is already created based on all the properties that it found and then you can add custom registries, uh, custom um, type handlers, um, register additional or specific JDK 8 or 17 type handlers. So that's possible here within Codem by just having that interface here and indicating that it is a spring beam. Same we have for the storage manager. We have a storage manager initializer, which is again in that integration code and that is called immediately after the moment that the storage manager is started and you can use it for example for adding the initial data um, otherwise you have an empty database the first time you can here um, for example add some users and, um, and books in our example uh, when we start up the database our application for the first time so when we launch actually this application now simple app application it starts up you will see the message that in the log that we have that initialization here from that um, found that embedded storage foundation where additional configuration is applied and we also have the addition of the basic data if needed 
So that means that we can now curl an endpoint. So we can list all the books and we get the books that we have had here in that preparation step. So where can you find this and other examples around Spring Boot and MicroStream integration? You find a repository called MicroStream Spring Boot Patterns uh, within my GitHub account where you have those examples. They are divided in uh, version 2 and version 3 for Spring Boot and so you can um, have all the, def the different examples uh, which are described here in the README uh, for, uh, for Spring Boot. The link to that GitHub repo will be available in the comments below this video. So a quick recap which features are available uh, in the MicroStream 7.1 which is released uh, last year. We have the support for Spring Boot version 2 where we can read the configuration keys where we have those two interfaces and where we can define the root object and storage manager as spring beans. In the upcoming version 8 of MicroStream, there is already an early access 2 release available. There we will have the support for the multiple managers and also support for Spring Boot 3 as you have seen in the example. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoy the integrations and microstream itself. Bye.